Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been so long, long time no chat, I know. So the last time I even made a video, posted a video, excuse me, there's church bells. Um, I love the sound of church bells. I am literally pulled over in a church parking lot on post and I'm making this video because it's just been so long and I was thinking about it today. I was thinking about my channel and how I have not really been active this summer on my channel so I wanted to update you guys let you know what's going on um, so the last vlog the last time I picked up the camera and vlogged well that was when we first got to Fort Eustis and we have been here for two months now and it is high time I just at least make a video and update you guys even though we've been super busy um, by the way I just got my hair done <laughs> I looked a lot different about three hours ago. Trust me. This is like the mom glam squad came in and helped me out because I literally looked like the night of the living dead. I could play an extra in that movie every day. I've been so exhausted. Um, but we have just been trying to get acclimated to our new, our new living environment, our new schedule, everything. And we've been busy keeping the kids busy. We've been going here and there and everywhere. We've been seeing family, which has been great. But now we're settling down into a routine. Um, Paisley has gotten, um, gotten a schedule for going forth now. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two little girls who are three and one and a half. And my three-year-old is autistic. She's high functioning, she's verbal, um, but she does not have a lot of vocabulary, which um, is a recipe for a lot of meltdowns. And today was one of them, but I'll get into that in just a minute. Um, but yeah, so we've gotten our new schedule now. We've gotten, you know, evaluations out of the way, and those are really tough evaluations. When you go in, it's, you know, you and your child are in there for a long time and you have a team of people observing your child and seeing how they do things and how they function. And so we just had an eval last week for Paisley for speech therapy and for occupational therapy. She will be getting both therapies on the same days, two days a week. And um, so she's gonna be there for about an hour and a half, both days and um which is good and it's an outside um company she's not going to be going back to preschool this year unfortunately because the main reason is because there is no dod school on post that offers a program a gifted program for paisley where she can get the um like the the classes the, the therapies the program that she really needs it's tailored to her so we're just gonna keep her in therapy for this year, um, which is fine. Um, so we've gotten our eval for speech and OT out of the way, and we just started her with you know her first couple of sessions, which of course in the beginning of anything, it's a little bit rough, and I'm not gonna lie, it's been really rough because she's been out of any type of therapy for over two months now, and so getting back into that routine, of being, I don't want to say forced, but you know, so to speak, you know, like playtime's over. It's time to just kind of get back into this routine and get back to doing things while well, she's been just loving life this summer. And you know, we've just been like, you know, doing whatever, just having, you know, a schedule that just we weren't really tied down to anything. So she has not been extremely excited. Um, in which uh, she also has a ABA evaluation coming up and we're going to take her to a center for um, for her ABA um, services so I'm really excited to start that because that will help with a lot of the behavioral a lot of the meltdowns and she'll also be getting a lot of speech there too because they're really gonna be aggressive with her treatment with ABA and she's gonna be I mean that's pretty much gonna be like her going to school this year so I'm really looking forward to that um, but I'm a little sad because I miss her school. I miss her teachers. I miss our life at Fort Bragg. I'm really attached to Fort Bragg. I mean, that's where, that's where it all began. That's where our story began. And that's where I lived when Will and I first got married. And that's where my kids were born. Everything happened at Fort Bragg. So I'm really, really missing home. So with that said, um, I have made the decision to put Avery into a childcare program two days a week. 
for two main reasons. The first being that um, I want to be able to focus on Paisley during her times of therapy, during occupational therapy and speech therapy, and really be involved and help out. Um, so I want to be, you know, really involved with her, and I really need to have like 100% focus there. Um, and then, you know, of course, it's not fair to Avery to, you know, have her sitting in a stroller for an hour and a half, and, you know, she needs to be active and play, and, you know, it's her time to grow. And then, secondly, I wanted to put her in this because she really needs that peer interaction. She is seeking that socialization and, you know, she loves playing with other kids and she wants to play with other kids and she seeks that from Paisley and I see it and she really wants to play with her, but Paisley does not always, you know, give that to her because she is autistic and so she has trouble socializing. Although she's becoming a lot more aware of her peers and playing with children and she actually wants to play with kids now, which I'm so happy about, but you know, Avery just really needs that, um, you know, socialization and just to be immersed into that kind of environment where she can play, where she can learn and she can grow. So I really wanted to give that to her. Um, so today was actually her first day. It was a trial day to see how she did to see if I really liked the place where she's going to be going to get this child care. It's in a church, which I felt really good about. I felt like I was honestly led there. I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm going to go off on like a tangent, but I really felt like that because I had search high and low for child care and child care in this area is like so hard to find because it's such a saturated area i mean with so many branches of the military you've got navy army what am i missing navy army air force i mean there's so many bases just within this area the tidewater area so a lot of these child care places in addition to the people that already live here that aren't military i mean it's just so saturated and so I have been finding that there have been limited availability even on post for care unless you're just full-time so I just wanted something part-time because I'm a stay-at-home mom and I love being with my kids but it's also good for me to have that time away just so I can focus on me again and I feel like um, I can just be a better mom too if I have a little bit of time to myself but so today was the first day and it did not go as planned so today was day one of our trial for the child care for Avery. And um, so I dropped her off around nine o'clock and it, let's just say it just didn't go as planned because Paisley was already freaking out. I, I wanted to give her the opportunity to be a big girl and walk in and not put her on the stroller because I don't feel like I, sh you know, I don't want to confine her to a stroller. I want to give her the opportunity to experience okay let's this is how we walk in this is how we hold hands this is how we do this but she freaked out completely she thought I was leaving her there dragging her into a place she literally like threw herself on the floor started screaming everyone there was very understanding the teachers I mean the school director she's amazing I mean everybody there is amazing they were also helpful they offered to like take Avery's backpack her lunch you know even like help me get Avery into the class and you know there was a couple teachers that tried to like distract Paisley and play with her um, so that was rough and I was really upset for a little bit I'm like I didn't even get to tell her a proper goodbye take pictures nothing I was just really mad um, then it was a rough hour and a half with Paisley at therapy she screamed she wanted to do what she wanted to do the whole time um, it was just rough I really wanted to I thought in my mind I'm like oh this will be our first day where Avery goes off and she goes to daycare and then Paisley and I, maybe after therapy, we can go get a chocolate chip cookie from the Nestle Toll House store and then go to the park and just have some one-on-one -on -one time. And it just didn't happen like that. Um, and I just decided that was not a good idea because, you know, her behavior today was just, oh gosh, it was, it was rough. And we got home and I was just so spent. Honestly, you could see it in my face. I literally was just on the verge of a meltdown myself. And I got back to school and I went to, well, got back to the daycare place um, to pick up Avery um, a couple hours after Paisley's therapy had ended. And I walked into the director's office and of course Avery is in there with her because um, she said Avery did well while, you know, in the beginning when there was playtime and they were doing other activities. But the moment they set her down for lunch and she realized I wasn't there, she freaked and she realized she was not in a familiar place and um, yeah so I 
you know, she told me about her day and then I guess she could just read it on my face that I was just emotionally spent and she, I think what did it, it was, um, she's like, cause you keep going. We started talking and she's like, yeah, you're busy mom. And I was telling her about Paisley's therapy and it was a rough day for everyone. And she's like, and do you ever get a break? And I said, no. And she's like, how many nights do you stay awake crying? And then I just let the tears out. Like I couldn't hold it anymore. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And she shut the door and she hugged me and she's like, it's okay. Here is a safe place and you let it out. And I mean, she told me a similar story. Like, you know, she doesn't have a special needs child, but she's doing it on her own with three kids. And I mean, she was almost in tears. She's like, I lay awake so many nights exhausted and crying. And I mean, it was so nice just to have someone to relate to, but I think I needed that. It's just been stressful. I think the beginning when you have to start over again is stressful. Um, I think the realization that it's getting real and that this is going to be the new schedule and this is the new norm. I think it's really hit home, you know, for, for a while, all summer long, I felt like we were just on summer vacation. It didn't really feel like we moved here and we were here to stay until now and it's gotten real. So Sorry guys, I feel like I've neglected my channel, but I haven't, I promise. Um, I've just been super busy just trying to get everyone acclimated, find my groove, get into the schedule, and just really have a positive, upbeat attitude about everything. Um, it doesn't help for me to just long for Fort Bragg every day, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be real, I do. I really, really, really miss Fort Bragg, and there's so many great things about this area, and having family close by is one, and we've been, going to Bush Gardens and the kids have been loving that and you know the beach and we have like a little beach not far from us as you guys have seen like Yorktown Beach I think um that's where we went to the farmer's market and I that I showed in my last vlog <laughs> my one and only vlog I did here since we moved um but you know while those things are great I just honestly I'm longing for the simple life that I had back at Bragg there wasn't a lot in the Fayetteville area, you had to go to Raleigh for everything, but I was okay with that, and I love it, and gosh, North Carolina just is, is where my heart is, and that's just my home, so I don't know, we'll see what happens, maybe we'll go back, I hope, but for now, we're here, and I feel like we're here for a reason, and I think that reason is for Paisley, so I'm just gonna just devote myself to, you know, really immersing her into her new environment, into her therapies, and just getting you know, the proper care that she needs. So, um, we're doing that. Um, so that's where I have been guys. Sorry. It's such a long, <laughs> long intro to this, but that's just been the reality of things. Good morning guys. It's Saturday morning and I'm just getting ready for the day. It's 10 20. And so I'm already ready for the day. I am showered, makeup's done. Everybody's good to go. So we have friends kind of in town they're not really visiting us they're here on a strong bonds military family retreat and they're staying in colonial williamsburg which is just down the road from us about 10 minutes and we are planning to link up they of course have their um like i don't want to call it like a seminar they have to go to but just like a togetherness bond it is a retreat so they have like a few hours where they have to do this um, activity for the retreat and then they're free for the rest of the day so we're going to meet up with them in colonial williamsburg at their hotel and then we're just kind of going to show them around Williamsburg. They've never been here. Um, they're from Fort Bragg, so it's only a few hours away. Um, you've seen my friends before, Tony and Jojo, and their daughter, Penny. We went to Disney with them last year. And so I think we're going to do Wish Gardens today. Um, so I wanted to get the kids ready. They're up. Um, you know, it was kind of a, a great Saturday morning. It was quiet. Will's out playing golf right now with his um, church men's group. But... Um, like the girls were so tired from her day yesterday of being outside for a few hours and Avery's disgruntled because she hates being in the high chair. She doesn't like being confined um, and she's confined. So she's upset, so don't mind her screaming. But um, yeah, they slept in, they were tired. Paisley's literally slept from like 6.30 yesterday evening till about 7.45. Avery slept in till about 8.45. Um, so they're dressed and we just have to brush hair, wait for Will to get home. Um, diaper bags are packed and uh, we'll be ready to go. I'm wearing my church, this is wet, we go to Water's Edge Church, 
and um, this is a t-shirt we got from church. It's called Love Week. It was for a promotional. Um, <laughs> All right, I had to move in the kitchen. Avery was really loud. So Love Week um, was a promotional week for our church where we just went out in the community and did different voluntary things, whether it was like cleaning up trash, serving food to the homeless, uh, giving water out to, I don't know, a business, just little things in the community just because, and it's the kind thing to do. So um, our church handed out t-shirts for that event. So I'm wearing that and I'm wearing my Honey Shack Boutique um, leggings because when I go to Bush Gardens you're hot you're sweaty so there's no point in like trying to even be cute like I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail cutesy side ponytail but there's no point in trying to wear like something nice you want to be comfortable because you're walking around and so we'll be walking around I'm gonna wear my flip-flops I just when it's hot out I don't like my feet covered I don't like to wear tennis shoes even though it's probably the best thing for my feet I don't like to wear tennis shoes when it's hot out like my feet get so hot and that is so uncomfortable for me. So I'm gonna wear my Reef flip flops, which are super comfy, um, and this. And I'm not gonna vlog like a full day at Bush Gardens just because, I mean, we're seeing our friends and we wanna spend time with them. But also, the reason I haven't, even though we've been in Bush Gardens several times since we've been here, is because it's summertime, it's hot, and it's super crowded, especially now in August. So I'm kind of, I'm gonna do a Bush Gardens vlog, like a day at Bush Gardens, but I'm gonna wait to do that until the crowds have died down, like, you know, it's not so touristy, people are back in school. So probably like, you know, look for something in a few weeks for like a full day at Bush Gardens. It's just, right now, it's just super crowded and it's just so much easier to do it when it's not as crowded. Avery, are you ready to get down? Are you upset? Look at this. What happened to your French toast stick and your pouch? Avery has not been too hungry lately because she's teething. And Paisley has, well, she finished her grapes. And she's having a yogurt, like a stony field. That's her second yogurt of the day. So, all right, I guess we'll get you down. We are at a standstill. We're on the back roads because 64 right there through the trees is not moving. Well, I guess now they're moving, but there was a pretty bad accident. So, here we are trying to get to Williamsburg on a Saturday in August. Summertime traffic. Who's ready for bush riding? <laughs> so funny. I'm riding in the back seat. <laughs> oh my god, it is so hot out, you guys. It is like a hundred degrees every day. I'm just telling you now, the month of August, I mean, thank God it's almost over because I can't even wear makeup in August. I mean, I do, but it's just honestly so hot and you're sweating and anywhere you walk, it just doesn't make any sense. So I'm not even wearing makeup, but um, we're getting ready for Paisley's therapy. She has um, speech therapy and occupational therapy today. Um, she gets it twice a week, an hour of speech a week and two hours of OT a week. Um, so that's going to be the schedule going forth, and she'll be beginning ABA very shortly. We just actually had her ABA eval the other day. It was a three-hour long evaluation, lots of paperwork. I mean, it, I'm not going to say it wasn't fun, but I mean, there's more that I'd rather be doing than filling out paperwork. But it's necessary, and it's for Paisley, and she's going to be getting extensive, intensive, aggressive ABA therapy because, I'm, I mean, it's what she needs, and it's good for her. So she'll be doing that 40 hours a week. So for the next year, I'm going to be devoting my life to taking Paisley back and forth to therapy. And I mean, I'm her mom. It's what I signed up for. Of course, when I had kids, I did not think it's just not a thought in your mind. You cross when you're, you know, planning a family that I might have a special needs child. But when you're faced with that reality, it is what it is. And you just do. You don't think about it. You just do because that's your job, but you just do it out of love and you know, you want the best for your kids. And so that's what it's come to. At first I was really, you know, kind of saddened that I wouldn't be able to do like join any of my groups this year. But honestly, I've made peace with it. I'm, I'm, my thought process is that we're here for Paisley and that's the reason we're at Eustis. I feel like because we were led here, we were sent here because there was something better in store for Paisley. So that's honestly my my true opinions on that but um it's just gonna be hectic we just have to get used to this new schedule so um that's what we're doing and we're gonna make the best of it oh 
dear lord it's so hot out today it is right now i'm looking at my temperature gauge in my car and it's saying the exterior temperature is 98 degrees although i'm telling you it feels like it's 110 okay so i just made a quick trip to the px the um, good thing about living on this army post this army base is um that it's pretty small so like it, the px is literally mm, a 30 second drive with no traffic which is awesome um i just ran out to get a few things we were leaving town going on a little road trip to upstate new york we do it once a year and i'm going to go see my good friend danielle and her family she just gave birth to a baby boy last week so um usually this time we go up there anyway for like the annual family gathering and party um but we have more reason to celebrate since she just gave birth to this beautiful little baby boy this is her second baby her oldest daughter is four just turned four so we we're so excited so i wanted to get like a few things for the baby um especially since they really they didn't find out the sex of the baby until he was born so they had tons of girl clothes didn't have any boy clothes so literally they've um kind of her husband went shopping like the day he was born so that way he didn't have to come home and dress him in pink um so yeah so we just got a few um a few baby clothes and just some essentials you know the usual stuff that i always need and um I don't know I kind of wanted some Taco Bell so I got some Taco Bell from a food court so um, I'm starving and I don't have any time to eat ever mm. a crunch wrap and oh no a taco I think it got squished and a Mexican can't get a Taco Bell without getting a Mexican and a ton of mild sauce mm. lunch is served so this is the reality of life, I'm trying to angle this well. Um, this is the reality of things now. This is the new norm. I mean, I'm not gonna let this happen all the time or continuously because this is not healthy in any way, shape or form, but Taco Bell is my favorite fast food and oh my gosh, I'm so excited for it. But um, I mean, I've gotta figure out like a system to where Although I'm gonna be running around like crazy every day, I'm gonna to have to literally just meal prep or um, there's clean eats in Virginia Beach. And for those of you who've been following me for a long time, you know how much I love clean eats. Um, they had a clean eats in Fayetteville and I absolutely loved it. It definitely helped me um, lose the weight that I was um, wanting to lose. And so it helped me keep it off and maintain. So I definitely, maybe if it comes down to it, me just taking a trip out to Virginia Beach once a week and you know, pre-ordering my um, prepared meals, do a meal plan, and then just have meals that, you know, during the day I can throw in a cooler. Maybe I should do that. Just take a cooler in my car and have fresh fruits and vegetables to eat because it's going to get pricey every day if I don't prepare something and I'm going back and forth running Paisley to and from and even Avery as she starts like a, you know, like a little toddler preschool program or something like twice a week. But, um, yeah, it's gonna get pricey <laughs> running to eat like every day and I'm gonna need to do it for my health. But until then, mm. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, you excited about the ducks? Okay, so just to give you guys a little bit of an update on Paisley here and how she did in her therapy at OT and speech. Um, so she goes in the mornings to speech therapy and occupational therapy. Um, she has not yet begun ABA, but as I said before, it's going to be very aggressive with her ABA treatment. And hopefully she'll begin sometime in September. It's a process, you know, when you move and getting a referral and doing the evaluation and getting everything situated so like I don't want to move too often and I can actually luckily the military does have a program where if you have a special needs family member and you can kind of request not to move but um, I don't want to stay at Fort Eustis I would love actually to go back to Fort Bragg um, but if we do that and we're able to go back to Bragg I will put in like a request to stay um, because Paisley needs that stability um, but anyway, you guys want to see what I got from the commissary today, not the commissary, the PX. 
Um, well, I got some Twizzlers pull and peel for my road trip um, because I love Twizzlers. I love this stuff. This is the Body Shop, um, the Vitamin E skincare system. This is like the travel size, which I love because it's just so compact. You can like put this in your gym bag, your purse. I mean, this is like meant to travel with. Um, these are like, yeah, one ounce, one fluid ounce of product. Like the wash is one, one fluid ounce. The uh, night cream, the day cream is 1.7 night cream not really sure but um yeah these are great for travel so i got this and i love it it's good for all skin types so if you're definitely looking for something to spruce up your skincare routine definitely give this a try i love the body shop it's not bath and body works but the body shop it is based out of london um i love this this is the shea moisture and this is the olive and marula baby head to toe wash and shampoo it smells like a dream I can't even tell you what it smells like but I love I love 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 my kids like their skin I love smelling them every time I wash them with this so although I do use shampoo and conditioner on them but you know if we're traveling this is great um, and then of course I got the coordinating lotion it's amazing it's more q-tips because well we always need those these are for my friends, baby. They're so cute. Little boy socks. Whoops, I just took that off, but I don't think we need it. Um, just little cutesy socks for him. Oh, I got this because I wanted to try. I've never tried this Dove Go Fresh, um, the pear. I've tried several of the Dove um, scents and like different skin type targets, but I've never tried this. This is the Fresh, and I think it's pear. So I wanted to try that. And this one, because Sun Bum is pretty... I want to say it's pretty new like I I haven't tried their um, their sunscreen yet which I really do want to try but they have this and I just grabbed one it's a you know it's a sunscreen lip balm so this is banana but this is who it's by it's by Sunbum. that's what it looks like so I wanted to give that a try <laughs> some more junk for our for our road trips and big Newtons we'll just put that over there um, and then on to the good stuff so Right now there's a ton of clearance, but um, I got a cute little outfit. This is what, three months? This baby is big. He was born at 10 pounds. She has, my friend Danielle has big babies. So he was born at 10 pounds, but I just thought that was so cute. And then we've got, what is this? Six to nine months. And with a big baby like that, I'm not sure like how quickly he grows. He's gonna grow out of things. I remember her first baby kind of grew out of things pretty quickly she was in like 12 months when she was I don't know like seven months so yeah but just some cute little dinosaurs I got a six to nine month this um bodysuit pack of what three bodysuits these always come in handy if people give you these I love getting these as gifts for you know a baby gift because these are great for your diaper bag to have as like that extra outfit or something because you know babies are always spinning up and blowing out as an infant you always need at least two outfits so these are great to keep in your diaper bag so just an FYI if you don't keep them in your diaper bag if you have littles that young this is so cute this is a six month it's like a little bodysuit with a, a little hoodie oh, and it's got little ears I just now saw that that's adorable with some pants and another Carter's um, just tangled here. Oh man. All right, but anyway, this is the pants, little fire engine, little short sleeve shirt, and then little fire chief long sleeve shirt. And then finally, because it was clearance, <laughs> God, it's like tangled. So I'm gonna try to show you guys but this is the like rash guard swimsuit. This is a 12 month, so hopefully he'll actually fit it next summer and not be an 18 months at like, you know, nine months. So, but it's so cute, little rash guard and trunk. So I thought that was adorable, but that's all I got from the PX today. Um, I actually do need to do some shopping, but that'll have to wait until we get back. And this is the beginning of packing to leave for the weekend. So I've got some diapers and some blanket some wipes um that's all i've gotten together so far but um yeah it's a little bit of a mess trying to trying to get things together um 
So, oh, I'm sure you guys have just now seen this. <laughs> I'm going to explain this right now before you're like, what in the world? So this was a, um, one of those wall stick on decals. It was beautiful and it was in gold lettering and it said, I think it was like, bless the food before us, the love between us. You know, that whole saying, but um, guess what? This is a textured wall, so it doesn't stick like it would on a regular smooth surface. And so I tried all of the tactics I possibly could to get this to stick. I mean, I, I practiced and I played with it for like hours and this is what happened when I took it off. So that's that. I'm going to have to get like, I'm not going to do any more wall decals on this because all the walls in this house are textured. So... I'm gonna have to get like a nice, like, I don't know, like wood type of board and like a saying or something like that. Actually, that's a good idea. Just get a piece of wood and paint it and then put the decal on that. That would have been a great idea, but I'm gonna have to do something like that because, um, yeah, because this looks horrible. So, <laughs> but just in case you guys are wondering what's going on with that wall, that's right, what guys, happened. Well, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing about Paisley's update and there'll be more to come. She's just now starting and we're looking forward to getting her started in her new program with her new schedule. It's gonna be busy, but I'm so glad that you know she's able to get the help that she needs. But I hope you like this. Please give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.